Welcome to this week's Down Home with Tina and happy Thanksgiving. I hope that you have a great and wonderful Thanksgiving, that you get the opportunity to spend it with family. However, first, we've got a show to get to and I have got some wonderful people coming up that I cannot wait to share with you. They are doing some really great things at the Lancaster City Schools and one of the junior highs. Actually, both of the junior highs, but I have one of them that we have a couple of students that are coming up here and also a teacher of the month that I can't wait to share with you just because we've just got some awesome teachers going on in our county and I have to spread the news. So if you do know of a teacher, please let me know, reach out to me, and I will do what I can to get them on as one of my teachers of the month. Folks, don't go anywhere. I'll be back in just a minute and I will share with you who it is. It's Down Home with Tina. The Frankie Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster and 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Dagger Law has more than 110 years of experience in nearly every aspect of the law. When we're not just helping clients, we're helping the community. You'll see us at festivals, sporting events, and around town, because we live and work here too. We are your neighbors, and we want to help you when you need it. When we help each other, we're stronger. Our community is stronger. Creating a strong, vibrant, healthy, and safe community is everyone's responsibility. And we take the responsibility seriously. We are local, we are trusted, we are experienced. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I have from Thomas Ewing Junior High School, one of the City of Lancaster schools, schools and he is a teacher that it was a few weeks ago i saw out on social media about some really cool things that they're doing in class with the students and giving back and what they're going to do with these items and i thought mm -mm, yep i'm in it i'm on it and i'm going to want to have him on so i made some connections and by the way teacher of the month is brought to you by crowd communications so angela had helped me also to get the connection and get set up to have mr p mr picklesimer what are we going to call you this uh next <laughs> 10 minutes or so <laughs> welcome to the show thank you tell me will you please and share with folks uh, why did you decide to become a teacher uh ever since i was younger i always wanted to uh, i just love helping others yeah so and uh having um a father figure to be able to be to some of these kids just was mm -hmm something that I wanted to do at a young age. Really? So, yeah, really? just enjoy that a lot. Yeah. So what is it that you do at Thomas Ewing? Uh, I'm teaching a uh, woodshop this year. Okay. So we, uh, we make different um, items. Uh, the kids learn to use tools, mm -hmm. uh, safety and saws and um, some of the different things. And they, and they have like projects they do that kind of get them started. Mm -hmm and teaching them safety, work on those projects, then they're able to make some things that they want to on their own. So it's really, really, it's really, really good for the kids. Have they always had this no. class? Okay. This is the second year that Thomas Ewing's had it. Okay. Uh, there was a gentleman that taught it last year. He was part-time in between our school and then General Sherman. Okay. So they asked me at the end of the year if I wanted to do that. And I said, yeah, absolutely. You know, just as long as I get to be around the kids, I, I'll <laughs> teach anything. So yeah. it's been, it's been great. Yeah. How many years have you been teaching? Uh, I've been a teacher career? for eight years okay. and then uh, at Thomas Ewing for five. Oh, okay. So this is my All fifth right. year. Yeah. Thomas well, Ewing. What do you think is most important for the kids when you're working with them? Um, just even if it's one-on-one. -on -one. And what I mean by that, is it conversation as well and it's, getting to know them? It's, it's fully based on relationship mm -hmm. with, with me and how I interact with my students. Mm -hmm. And that's where it starts. And then that goes from that relationship to school, to projects, to things outside of school, um, 
to how they carry themselves, how they mm -hmm. speak to others. Just it's it's just there's so many other things other than just wood shop, but I incorporate that all that into my class. What do you think it's doing for these students bringing something like this back into um, or, or be, making it as an option for them to do in school and in class? It really <clears throat> it really gives them like an interest. Like do I like this? Mm -hmm. Do I not like this? What other avenues that that can take them into. So if I like woodworking, I might like construction. I might like, ele you know, electrician, uh, HVAC, uh, just in plumbing, the different areas that they might want to go into and be like, oh, I never thought of that. Like, and also some of the things I share with the kids is later on in life, you can work on your own home. If it's not something that you want to do as a career, you could do it as a hobby. You can save yourself money. You can help Absolutely. a neighbor. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. And there are a lot of trades that are out there that they are needing jobs, the, the trade skills and this teaching them the, the hands-on and to do is a big one, a yeah. big thing to do. Yeah. Um, I know I've got a cousin who he's been building houses for years, for years. That's, he just loves to do it. So he builds. And he started, I'm sure, learning in school <laughs> what to do. In shop class, how many students were in the class last year compared to this year? It grew, didn't it? <laughs> it grew a lot. <laughs> yeah. I think some of it grew when they were like, who's teaching it? Oh. So, cause, so it's, it's great. I think, and they've added some students. They haven't taken, it was at 160 the last time I checked. <laughs> So, and this is just Thomas Ewing. Yes, this is just this is just my class. <laughs> How many kids are in one class right um, now? The max that I have working in the shop is fourteen, but okay, I good. also uh, take extra students and I do some uh, curricular things with them sometimes while while my advanced students are working in the shop. So mm -hmm. sometimes twenty, eighteen, twenty. What do you? Where do you begin with them when they're very new to the being in the shop? safety yeah so, so we have a we have in our in our classroom we have a divider it's painters tape okay. but it's we have a classroom we have a shop so classroom we're learning uh, we're going we're going over safety training once we go in the shop glasses are on you know go time oh, yeah. where, you know it's do you limit them on a project that they're interested in doing I don't how do you do that? How do you keep them in? <laughs> like bringing them back in. You know, sometimes you got to reel them back in. <laughs> but not that you don't want them to, of course, be creative and have ideas. But yeah. Uh, we talk about cost. So oh, the, uh, what we look at is um, if we're going to do a project, what, how much does it cost? What does is, uh -huh. what is one board cost? What does a 36 inch board cost? So if you're going to build that, you need to take into consideration of taking your time if you mess up you know how that is going to affect your product mm -hmm. and if you're able to make it you know three feet tall or three feet wide or 12 inches it, it, it's going to depend on that when yeah. it comes to the project do you know how their interest in math has changed when it's come to working in shop because they have to know math and some kids just don't like math have yeah. you guys seen any of that like they're learning some of those number, you know, how to do uh, measurements and use a ruler and things like that because they have to, to know, yeah. you know, do they, or do these kids usually come in pretty much knowing? They, they look at numbers differently. Good. So numbers okay. differently is looked at when it comes to what they're building to compared to well, what am I learning in class? How to, how, what's the difference? And they want you, to learn it. Because right? I view, I, with them, I'm like, guys, everything has to be looked at as money, at dollar, dollars and cents. Yeah, yeah. And if this was coming out of your pocket, would you do it? Would you, would you spend mm -hmm. $27 to build this shelf? Or would you be like, mm, maybe I don't want to, or maybe I can take uh, some product that we're using and reuse it so mm -hmm. we talk about that like we have a lot of scrap wood yeah and i tell the boys i'm like if you're gonna or i tell the kids if you're looking at it and you're like i could use that for something else don't throw it away because you're if you were owning your own business you would save money by being able to reuse that reuse screws reuse mm -hmm. nails and so it yeah it's so much fun very very <laughs> cool so let's share with folks what is it that they're doing this year or uh, now what right now um we have been building um, toys. Okay. So there's some 
uh, Bentley and Levi brought some of the cars that they've they've cut out and they painted because we want to donate them for Christmas to kids who don't get anything and may want something unique. So um, we did that. Uh, we did pumpkins um, before Halloween, and then we we sent them to some of the elementary schools. And then we're also we have an order for uh, Christmas trees because okay. some of the elementary school kids want to paint them and give them as gifts for their family. So it's really it's really humbling, and it Dude. gives you chills. It does. I'm like, I'm getting tears. Yeah, this yeah. is why I wanted to make this as part of my Thanksgiving um, special at, for this week for Thanksgiving because it's really about giving to those who are less fortunate. Yeah. And you guys are able to um, leave an impact on the students in your class, which goes above and beyond of just making a project in shop class. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty powerful. Yeah, very powerful. So they're making different toys and they're going to go to different kids. Yeah. Will they, um, will they know who they go to? Do you know, have you guys decided yet? How no. many toys do you, will you, because you're working on, are you working on multiple and different things like project or different kinds of toys? Because they're all going to be, are they all one of a kind, these no. toys? No. Now, some of the cutouts the are the same because okay. we, what we, okay. what we did was cars and trucks. Okay. So we did cars and trucks. We wanted something with wheels, something they could roll. Some of them have handles. Um, and these so, are going to be toys that last. So how exciting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a wooden toy, you think. I know. <laughs> yeah, a wooden toy, you think, oh, you know. That. But if you look online, like, it's really it's really a hot item right now to get, like, something that's actually made really, really well. So, so these kids are going to get the opportunity, the ones that may not get something this cool. Yeah. I'm going to get something pretty cool. I, I say cool. My dad, yeah. he's like Tina. I'm like, I guess I use the word cool. It's yeah. pretty daggone cool <laughs> yeah. to do. Um, so what has been your favorite thing so far in your whole eight years of teaching? Uh, eight hours a day with kids. Yeah. Because I have four kids. I have a granddaughter, another one on the Aww. way. Yeah. So it's not like work. Yeah. Does it, um, if you're anything like me, it's just that look on their face when they've completed a project. Yeah. Is pretty priceless. Smile. Yeah, that's it, that smile. Yeah. Because they probably feel like they've accomplished something pretty dang on big, yeah. which they have, yeah. especially because it's what they're doing and it's going to be good. <coughs> oh, awesome. So, anyways, you're my teacher of the month. So, I have a little goodie bag in here for you. So, oh, you can share your little you. treats in if you want. And okay. because you have a couple of boys, I'll give you a little more treats. So, if you want to share I got uh, them in the bag. I always share. <laughs> Oh, I, you know what? I'm not the least bit surprised. Oh, well, thank <laughs> so, you. And there's a little gift card in there from Ava Jewelers. So oh, maybe if thanks. you want to have somebody you wanted to do something for. But thank you so oh, much thanks. for what you do, Mr. Picklesheimer. And I know that over at General Sherman, they are doing some things as well, right? Yeah. They've got the shop class going over there. Yeah. And the teachers. Who's the teacher there? Uh, Mr. K. Mr. K? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's doing things, something like. Uh, he'll he'll follow this. He's following the same program. I take mine off program, okay. so I, I go back, I bounce, so oh, I'm okay. like, you get them started, it's introductory, and then, hey, we're going to do this. We're going to let them, we're going to let them be creative, and I'm, hey, take your time, yeah. no time limit, let it, let it, let the creativity just flow with the kids, and just let them just go at it. Yeah, so it's a really great thing that you're doing and, and yeah. teaching them, because it's a lot more, again, than just learning how to make something, it's a life skill. Yeah. We talked about that before we got started. It's a great life Thank skill. you so much. Thank you. Folks, don't go anywhere. I've got a couple of students, and they're going to talk about the projects and what it's like for them being in Mr. P's class. It's Down Home with Tina. I really like Fearful County because we're just a great mix. We're not so isolated that we don't have resources, but we're also small enough that it's a real community. And I will say that I don't think I've ever seen or worked in a place where so many partners in the community come together and are truly collaborative. I've been working in Fairfield County for over 20 years and I've had a variety of positions within the county. Um, being a smaller county, um, I've been able to get to know the service agencies better and people that work within that. Um, so I've always had those opportunities to be creative, to think out of the box. And through those collaborations, we've been able to really build some wonderful programming for the youth and families. I think that everybody is really community-minded and they're really focused on 
Within the system of mental health care, they're really focused on getting people access to the care that they need and making sure that we're serving the people in Fairfield County. Community, connections, collaboration. The Fairfield County Way. It's Downhill with Tina, and I have a couple of students from Thomas Ewing Junior High. They are in Mr. P's or Mr. Picklesimer's class. It is shop class, and they are learning how to make toys, and it is the coolest thing because it's just like a skill that I don't think a lot of kids get the opportunity to learn anymore. And so I have them on the show to talk about some of these fun and cool projects. So I want to go ahead and welcome Bentley and Levi. Oh my goodness, guys. So what grade are you in? I'm in eighth. Eighth grade? Eighth. eighth grade, so you're both in eighth grade. Did you do shop class last year? Uh, no, it's because it's only for eighth grade. It is only for eighth grade, okay. Well, I'm glad you told me that. Now, so you'll only get one year of it before you go off to high school. Why did you decide, it's an elective, right? Mm -hmm. Class that you could actually choose to get to do. Yeah. Okay. Why, Bentley, did you decide that you wanted to participate and be in shop class this year? because my stepdad ha is a finished trim carpenter and he's always building coolest things. And I thought if I took this class then I'd learn to build my own cool things. Very neat, very neat. What about you, Levi? Uh, I was looking through the uh, different electives you could take mm -hmm. and then I saw wood shop and it, it, um, I saw Mr. P was taking it, so. Doing it, yeah. What did, um, have you ever had any experience whatsoever like with anybody that does anything like this? Have you ever worked with machines or tools before? Mm, not too much, no, yeah. not really, just yeah. a little bit. Had you worked before with anything or you just, you, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I've, I've worked with a little bit, like I've used a nail gun. The nail gun, a nail gun? Yeah. Yeah, so what kind of tools do you get to use in class? Uh, we get to use mini claw hammers. Um, do you know? Rip saws, they're like little saws with Japanese. Uh, uh, they're like saws. Japanese rip saws. They got a little handle on the end. You can just kind of saw away at it. And then we use There's coping saws. Manual drills that you can crank with your hand. A lot easier to use if you don't want to use a power drill. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Hammer. Hammer. Well, yeah. that was the claw. Claw hammer. Oh, that's the claw hammer. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, when did you start? doing and making these projects here? Do you start right at the beginning of the year? No, we, when we first started, we made Jenga blocks and mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. just, just to get the learning basics yeah. of just how to cut, how to sand and everything else. Okay, what was the first thing that you wanted to make when you were allowed to make something that you wanted to make? <laughs> what um, was it, do you remember? The first thing that I wanted to make was I wanted to make a, before I knew that we were making these, mm -hmm. I made, I would try to make one all by myself, but. Do you work together on one of these or well, one person like you? One person saying? makes it at like this one I made by myself mm -hmm. and that one Levi made by himself, but. Okay. So everybody has just, you work on your own project. Okay. And then if you need somebody else's help, they'll help you. They'll help you. So is it kind of like a team mentality in the shop? Yeah. Shop class, yeah. So how long did it take you to make this? Well, it was like, I was working on other side projects. So like I just put the wheels on today, so. Oh, you did, okay. So you're doing <laughs> other stuff, yeah. How hard is it to make something like this, Levi? Um. I guess when you put the time into it and you really, like it, not too long once you, yeah, if yeah. you're not working on other side projects, it wouldn't take too long. What's your favorite thing about being in Mr. P's class? The freedom to build, you mm -hmm. know, what kind of you, what you want with some restrictions, but, and then have people help you. Like, yeah. Nice. What about you, Bentley? 
Um, Favorite thing about being in Mr. Pete's class? Kind of like what Levi said, like the freedom, but um, just the way that M Mr. P also helps us with our schoolwork so that we're not getting bad grades and getting stuck behind. Oh, okay. He does that as well. Yeah. He helps support you in other areas as well. Yeah. Not just in shop class. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favorite? What? Now, explain to folks what it is that you have created here. You can pick it up and move it now. So I made this. I, I'm still gonna paint it uh, yellow, but it is a excavator for the toys, and it. You know, I've always wanted a excavator as a um, little kid, but like. What is that? Why you came up with the idea of making it? Because you thought kind, this would be kind of cool yeah, for a kid to have. Yeah, and just. Good to show off my building capabilities. Whose idea was it to give these to the um, to kids? Mr. Peace. It was? Yeah. Yeah. Whose idea is it, to, or what design do you guys, you're coming up with the freedom, like you said, of making your own kind of toy, right? So. Yeah, so like, oh, a lot of kids are just make like this, or like a truck, but I wanted to go different and have different, different things. So I made the fire truck, I made a hot okay. rod, which, which is kind of like everybody else's. But then I made, I thought of this, and I, I was like, this is what I want to build. This is, this is it. That's your thing. That's your big thing, your big project. Yeah. How does it make you feel knowing that you're going to be giving these toys to kids that would not get a cool toy like this? Because this is one of a kind. Like, they're not going to get another, nobody else in the whole wide world is going to have another toy like that. And I think that makes it a very special gift. What do you think? How do you feel? Does it make you feel? It's heartwarming to like, you know, see that some kids that don't really have anything, we put our time into those toys mm -hmm. that we've made that, you know, they get to enjoy. That makes you feel good to be able to do something. How does it make you feel when you finish a project? You're like, yeah! It, <laughs> or is it sad? Are you like, dang, I'm done? It's a mixed feeling because like, <laughs> you're putting your time, your effort into this and then knowing where it, like it's going to get some kid who's going to be able to enjoy it instead of it sitting on like a shelf or something true yeah. so when i finish it yeah I'm, it's definitely like whew, i'm done but <laughs> it's always it's also on these types of projects knowing that it'll go to a kid who would very much like it and yeah yeah what do you think it's going to do for you for next year you're going to continue to do things like this in high school yeah to make it bigger what's your What's your ideal project? Maybe not in Mr. P's class, but to build. Do you I have know, one? like a shelf, a chair. Shelf, yeah. I, I made a table earlier this year. Did you? Yeah. Do you have a big, bigger thing that you want to do? Not really. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, I know. You don't have to. Yeah, I was just just asking questions. All right. Anything else that you guys would like to share? Anything? How many more projects do you think you'll get to do this year? Quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah, because you're doing how many now? <laughs> I'm doing, there's three right now, and I still have to paint that. I'm making a shelf, a birdhouse. I'm, make, I'm making a truck, so. How many are you, do you have more uh, that you've, you're getting done coming up for the holidays for you to give to the kids? Um, I After I finished that, I was going to start working. Uh, we've. Before that, we started working on uh, just any car we could basically want with, you know, uh, like we could build a truck or any car we basically wanted. And it was like, uh, that's what I think what I was going to go back to was go working to on that. More of these? Yeah. Yeah, which you can. I mean, because I know that, um, I don't know if you're, I was told this years ago that and you make it different and unique because you're putting your own touch on it because there's not going to be any wheel anywhere in the world that's going to match this wheel with right. a car so do you guys get to put your little initial anywhere i don't know like yet kind of underneath it somewhere under the corner back there <laughs> put it in there so nobody it's just a little initial i know the amish when they make their amish quilts it's not a perfect perfect quilt because they don't believe in perfection so yeah but i think you should put them all. and they put their initials on it too so everybody one of the projects that Bentley is going to do is this, correct, Bentley? Yeah. Am I going to hold you? Do I have to hold you to it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
he, he was he was eyeing it. Am I correct? He was eyeing yeah. it, wasn't he, Levi? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so he thought it was pretty cool. Guys, thank you so much. And thank you so much for being a good and wonderful inspiration. I know it's to your other classmates as well and to the other students in the school because they, this is a really cool thing. It's teaching them that, you know what, you do something for the good. And, yeah, I'm proud of you. I know Mr. P is proud of you and your principal is proud of you. So thank you thank for you. what you're doing. Thank All you. Right, kids. Thank you. You're welcome. Folks, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. It's down here with Tina. Hey, Bobo, do trees tell each other stories? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know that. Hey, why don't we go find out? Listen. Do clouds take naps? I couldn't tell you. Dad, do stars visit their friends? Look! Downhill with Tina is brought to you by these amazing sponsors. I just wanted to take this last couple of minutes of the show, folks, just to, and I know being Thanksgiving and all, that so many of us have been counting our blessings, but I am going to ask that you really seriously take that time this year, sit around the table for Thanksgiving, or even if you don't have a table big enough to have everybody sit around the table, just gather together for one moment and maybe go around and ask each one in the family what your blessing is of the year what you're thankful for i spend some time every now and again at the multi-county juvenile detention center in lancaster and i get to spend time with kids that yes they are in situations they've gotten themselves into and yes i hold them accountable for that don't think that i don't but i also think, you know, um, what can I do to help them to know their value and their worth for them to get out of there and never come back. I'm not there on a regular basis, but I spend time with them from time to time. And I know that some of them really are, they, they do regret the things that they've done and they don't get to spend Thanksgiving with their family this year. And some kids, they just do have a hiccup. I call it a hiccup. It's a bad thing that's happened and they've chosen to do something and that's just where they are anyways I just remind them to be thankful for the blessings and I try to encourage positivity to them as I still do on the show here as well um, but just please take the time to be with those that you love throughout this whole holiday season if you can't get together on Thanksgiving Day maybe you can get together sometime from now to Christmas or any it's just my dad passed away on December 31st. Some of you already know that. And it's going to be our first holiday without him, which is going to be really hard. So those folks who have lost a family member and you know of them and you don't know if they have somewhere to go, reach out to them to make sure they've got somewhere to go. Of course I do. I'm blessed in that way, but some don't. So count your blessings. Tell those you love that you love them and spend some time with them if you can. FaceTime, whatever video that it takes but just do it. And I hope you have a blessed Thanksgiving. God bless and good day.